Hi everybody and welcome to the Becoming Podcast. We have another wonderful guest with us today, Christina, who's going to share the amazing work that she has started to get into and she's sharing with uh, her friends, her community and her family. So uh, um, before we start that, a big thank you to Cher at uh, webdesignshare.com for all the support that you've been giving myself um, you know, with these podcasts and with the website. So uh, thank you very much and please you know, like, share, subscribe as well. Hey, Christina, welcome. Thank you for coming on. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, Hi, good, everyone. thank you. Yeah, good, good, good. Tell me, um, what have you been getting into? What's uh, What the works have you started? Uh, okay, first of all, uh, my name is Kristina Voros. Um, uh, I am a dual citizen of Hungary and Australia, and we moved to the island uh, about five years ago. Okay. Uh, but what I started is... Uh, I studied to be a naturopathic doctor mm -hmm. in an American school, so it's a very high level um, study and uh, it's uh, a license going to be attached to my name and uh, basically uh, all the aspects, what comes to natural healing of the body, I'd like to be involved and help people uh, because I see so much uh, suffering out there. Sure, 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 and and with that, I mean, obviously, you know, you have you've moved around, you've been to, you know from Hungary to Australia to to Mallorca, another island situation here, and now doing this with with the the natural therapies. I mean, uh, was there a reason that you felt that you needed to get into this? Uh, yes, uh, it's all started in my personal issues um, when I left uh, Hungary and, uh, a long time ago uh, to Australia. Uh, it was a very hard journey and I suffered, you know, mentally uh, mm -hmm. and I didn't recognize that for, for a long uh, time and also the people are not aware of how to help people regarding this field. And then in Australia, um, unfortunately, uh, I came to uh, a diagnosis of thyroid cancer Okay. and uh, it was a shocking because I was very young, I thought, you know, I'm, I'm eating fine, I'm doing everything fine because what we've been told, uh, you know, what to eat and how to eat, we follow, and then it um, looks like it's turning to uh, a little bit of disaster in, in our body. Yeah, so we yeah. start suffering. Yeah. So um, I'd done a lot of research uh, back then, like how come, you know, such a young uh, person kept, uh, can get such a horrible disease. And then my findings were uh, really worrying uh, to me, myself. So I spoke to the doctors about it because I find out um, one of the pharmaceutical products was a, was a major leading into this, right. unfortunately. And then when I asked them, um, they nodded their head, yes, yes. Plus, also, we can't rule out, you know, other uh, aspects, you know, the environmental toxicity uh, and our stress and all that, what destroyed the body. So I had to go through all that journey to uh, heal myself. I had an operation. And then I still haven't really thought about, you know, to get into to, to the naturopathy. Um, uh, I continued my journey to try to be educate myself to how to be healthy. So this whole journey came a little bit later um, when I moved here. Uh, and uh, I got pregnant with my daughter mm -hmm. and then my body just gone into <laughs> out of out of this world. And then more issues uh, came up and right. then. And then during this time, it was the middle of COVID. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then I, all I've seen was people suffering, suffering. Me, I was suffering. And um, literally, I thought like, okay, I really want to know more and more and more. Mm -hmm. So I was mm -hmm. looking for a best school, uh, what I could afford. And, um, and of course, in English language. And, uh, and, I, and I find this American school to be uh, a naturopathic doctor because mm. all I want is just to help people uh, to get better. Yeah, sure, sure. I mean, you didn't just have the move over here, but you had came over here, you're pregnant, going through the pregnancy and going through the COVID situation yes. as well i mean it wasn't just one or two little challenges you had you, you've chosen a you know uh, the biggest challenge the, the, <laughs> indeed yeah. the biggest challenge indeed 
all this together like we all know what covid did to us um, mm -hmm. in in any age everybody was suffering from a very young age to the yeah. oldest age yeah. so and then yeah um, we can all admit uh, as a mothers that the pregnancy and giving birth and the time after that is the most challenging um, time of our life um, much as it brings so much happiness and, and love mm. you never never experience until you have a child no, but no. the physical and mental struggle is huge yeah sure sure and with that then you started to look into the natural therapies because obviously you weren't happy with what was going yes. on on the other side so tell us about that path how did that come along well, once I found the school, uh, and uh, the school is very extensive, so I learned also that like uh, all aspects of naturopathy, kinesiology, iridology, a lot about uh, food, uh, the supplementation, uh, and also learning the medicine because I mm -hmm. have to know about it. If a patient comes to me uh, taking some medication and uh, herbal remedies, it could be contraindication sometimes. Yeah. So. Literally, um, I have maybe around uh, one year uh, to finish. So right now, I start to do like an advisory role. Mm -hmm. um, I have my own workshops, and it's going to be multiple topics um, regarding um, what is how to detox the body, how to get the energy back, mm. what is in our uh, cosmetics or the household cleaning items, and what can we do, um, and so on, mm -hmm. environmental toxins. And what I came across with, uh, there is few um, remedies what I use and products what I use. And I would like to share these because for me, myself, it worked 100%. Um, these are essential oils, minerals mm -hmm. and certain supplements. But the catch is all these industries as well with the supplements, they also... Uh, you need to you need to see what you buy. Sure. You need to make sure that is the products is pure and good quality. Mm. And I found these brands, uh, and it is a certificate attached to it. Literally, that is the purest therapeutic grade. Um, and then it's uh, also how to heal the body. So yeah. for me, as that's the most important thing right now. Teach people the basics, how mm -hmm. to look after our head, and what to use. Uh, because they also misled again because of the you know money driven industries yeah. and they may not be using the same products and they take it take it take it and they don't see the results no. they're just literally flushing money out you know uh, through your body yeah. you know yeah. Uh, yeah. and then yeah. it's not going anywhere so this is yeah. what I would like to teach people and the basis and once I finish my studies then we can go more deeper level of uh, uh, issues mm -hmm. yeah yeah but which is great because we're, we're going to be sharing with with everybody uh, towards the end of the program what's going to be coming up uh, with Christina as well which is going to be great so you know the, these things you, that you've got into you've had to change make a lifestyle change totally really haven't you all yes this time. So many many lifestyle changes along these years and um, I didn't know a lot of things, uh, mm -hmm. despite I was studying about food. I used to be, you know, a chef, uh, you know, 20 some years ago, and I right. changed career, you know, a few times. Um, and uh, I went to the, you know, to the deep level to uh, mm -hmm. to study everything, read about it. That's very important that we educate ourselves because the more information you get the more the, you, you can help yourself, yeah. the better. Or yeah. talking to people, you know, like what experience they mm -hmm. have, what, are, what have they done yeah. mm -hmm. um, uh, to get better. So this is my main goal. So my lifestyle changes was everything regarding, you know, um, giving, giving up pretty much alcohol very, very occasionally. Mm -hmm. uh, giving, giving up caffeine because caffeine is literally doing two things to our body which people still don't know. The f number one is dehydrating you on a very high level. So if you drink coffee and multiple coffee a day, mm -hmm. your water intake, or uh, the minimum two liter, it should be three times more at least. Really? Yeah. Wow. And the other thing is, is flushing out uh, very important minerals from our bones, mm -hmm. like the calcium and magnesium. And that's why you have a, a very high level now, osteoporosis and arthritis and all these diseases ah, coming so, up. So the coffee is actually Drain, yes. taking these out literally from the body. is draining everything out from the wow. body wow. and um, and uh, what I 
done, I love coffee still the taste. So I've mm -hmm. switched to a very high quality decaffeinated brand, okay. uh, which is they don't use chemicals. They water, you know, wash it, wash it, wash it until literally the caffeine uh, washed out. And yeah. then they do the roasting process the same way. Okay. And it stays the same beautiful coffee taste. And um, yeah. I have one uh, a day in the morning just because I love the coffee taste. Yeah. And yeah. so yeah. so you can, you can do this, uh, small changes as well or swapping and changes. But... Mm. I had to learn how to eat, what to eat correctly, yeah. and yeah. Uh, because we are misled into this, uh, you know, society of uh, cooked food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but how much is it cooked? Yes. Then destroys everything in your, in your, uh, uh, in your the minerals and vitamins in in the food. Or if you go to the supermarket, people think just because it's available in in the shops, it's mm -hmm. good to eat or safe to use it, and it's not true. So this is also going to be a different segment to talk about these, uh, how to how to read labels or right. how to how to make the choices, yes. what's good for our body. Yes, yeah, yeah. And it's on, on as you said, on all levels. It's not just the food, but the, the few, food is a is a huge part, is a huge impact on us, on our lives, and that from there. But it's also to do with um, the deodorant that we use, the shampoos oh, yes. that we're using, the soaps, not only you know, for ourselves, but also for the environment. And this is something you're going to be sharing with yes. us as we go along. Yes, uh, it's going to be a, a, another workshop. It's going to be uh, separated because if you talk about it once, yes. it will be horrible long. And yes, we try yes, to do yes. this, you know, in a short uh, uh, one hour segment. And um, yeah, that's going to be a major topic with our cosmetics um, and everyday house cleaning products, mm -hmm. what the ingredients are in these products and what they do to our body and uh, how these forever chemicals what we use uh, uh, in this term um, is gets into the body and that's why they call forever chemicals because it's not coming out no. you really need to work hard yes. to flush it as much as possible right. and then you will see the changes but again just reflecting back if you go to the first supermarket and you buy those general products there it's full of yeah. uh, toxicity your skin is your biggest organ it mm -hmm. absorbs everything into right into your bloodstream yeah. and then it's doing the damage right so, Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm from there, and <clears throat> you know, the, to the food in the supermarkets, we have the uh, the markets around. There are organic markets around, but and, you know, we have, we have talked about this um, before that um, that not all organic are totally organic. You know, there's different certifications, isn't there? There's different levels, so you still have to be careful about what you're buying and what you're eating, even from you know organic markets. Uh, yes, it's true. Um, if you compare, uh, the good thing is about the organic. Uh, I, I am um, in relationship uh, uh, with the local farmers uh, because I myself I go to the uh, pop up uh, organic market and buy my food there. Or if I have to go to the supermarket, I use the organic session there. Right. And um, I started to talk about the farmers, um, you know, here in Mallorca. To first of all, to establish a good relationship, understanding uh, how is our food grown and uh, where is it coming from, what they do to the community, mm -hmm. so I can pass on this knowledge as well. Uh, why is it important? So, they have a very very strict regulation uh, not to use chemicals, um, uh, and also they're getting tested regularly. Right. That's uh, for me. That's uh, what makes me sure. Like, okay, mm -hmm. if you get regularly tested, not just you got your certificate and yes. then you you forget and um, and uh, um, just carry on and whatever yeah. happens but um, uh, so they're getting tested regularly so that's ensuring me that the quality uh, the pure you know list um, the purity of the products are yeah. good because if you go to the supermarket and uh, buy the regular vegetables we know that now it's um, you know, sprayed with all sort of chemicals mm -hmm. etc what I would like to now understand more, because it's, a, it's reasonably um, new information uh, to me as well, that um, they're doing gene modification with the fruit uh, and vegetables to to be stand more. Uh, if you cut an apple, it doesn't go brown because yeah. actually they took the gene out, you know, so it wow. doesn't rot. So you can put the apple down for two weeks and it's not getting brown. Yeah, 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 and unfortunately, yeah. they're doing uh, with all kinds of effort, even the organic. The organic just means you can't use pesticides and herbicides right. to, to grow vegetables. But the gene modification is unfortunately has been implemented uh. um, in this industry as well. So we have to, again, take the next step, again, talk to the farmers, 
why why is there any um, how can we know it's, it's not you know harming our body mm -hmm. or or to make I need some answers for yes. this so yes. the next um, few months um, yeah. I will probably have some more information regarding mm -hmm. this but yeah. I don't know how long they have been doing this. Um, you know, sometimes we find that information uh, yeah. 5, 10, 20 years later yeah. Um, yeah. as the body reacts. So yeah. hopefully not yeah. going to be the case. But No, 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 no. And, and it is like that, is that we're finding out this information a long time after that they have implemented it. Yes. And then they put a certain number on an ingredient or on a spray or on something else. We have no idea what these numbers mean unless you, you yeah. can try and research, but some of them you can't even research at all, can you? It's yes, really hard to find. Exactly, yeah. Some of the veggies and fruits, yeah, they have a label and they have numbers on it. Uh, mm -hmm. So you can uh, look it up, what it means, uh, and then uh, and you see that it's organic or, yes. or not. But it's, it's usually very well labeled, even in the supermarket, yes, if they keep yeah. the organic range. So yeah, 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 yeah. I would highly recommend switching to organic because least the pesticides and the herbicides are one step uh, behind us to help the body to especially if you're dealing with multiple disease is a mm -hmm. must uh, mm -hmm. step uh, yes, literally yes so when you're seeing people now um and yes uh, we know that you're, you're you're still completing your studies and you've covered yourself uh, on that side which is very important to, to, for people to realize <clears throat> yes. but when people come in um you're looking at their whole lifestyle looking at their the whole mentally physically emotionally spiritually as well i mean that covers the whole area doesn't it yes it's a must uh, mm -hmm. do step because you cannot just look one aspect in the body like mm. uh, certain uh, industry does, the, the medical industry does. They just look at one thing, but they never sure. go to where is it coming from or why. And for me, it was always the case following my journey, like why mm -hmm. do I have this problem and how. So, yes, we, we assess the people from top to bottom, uh, from inside and out, yes, <laughs> literally. Yeah. Uh, and that's where you can find a problem because if you find a, something a problem in your hip it could be actually an emotional problem mm -hmm. uh, all your stress all your emotions stored mm -hmm. into this location and you can do as much as physio you, you want but it's not going to be resolved it should come from a different angle that, that's just one example yeah. sure 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 so if somebody comes to see you what can they expect for you to, to go through with them say from th the first time that they meet First, we, we talk about uh, their lifestyle, what they eat, how to eat, what they use, what products. So uh, if they're willing to come to the workshops many times, they will learn solely all this information and I support them, uh, you know, along the way if they have any question. Uh, another thing is um, I started this treatment, the Symphony of the Cells. I got into myself into the essential oils, uh, very high uh, uh, certificated, pure grade, therapeutic grade uh, oils. And then what these oil means is target a specific body system. Mm -hmm. Let it be cardiovascular, musculoskeletal or urinary and so on. And then we have a specific range of oil for that system, and we put it on the patient. Uh, depend on the, on the, on the uh, severity of the problem, and then we do three treat, treatment uh, per week. Mm -hmm. And then if they're still consistent, repeat that one, and then we try to go down and down and down, and then just maintaining level. Right. So this is what I can offer to the people. Uh, I would start with the inflammatory and hormone treatment. Mm -hmm. These are the two most common issues uh, women are always struggling with the hormones and inflammatory is a lot of our illnesses is dr driven by inflammation in the body sure. in different points so sure. I would like to offer the people uh, who come to see me um, um, the first uh, one or first one or two treatments for free okay. and I can teach them how to use it and they can do it themselves or a partner at home they can do it themselves and mm -hmm. then we do uh, keep in touch regularly and monitor the symptoms. Uh, we might need to change and tweak uh, certain elements, certain uh, uh, products. Yeah. And also uh, teach them how to overcome everyday illnesses. What happens if you have a fever? What happens if you coughing or cold or... Um, and you know, you get a sunburn even, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, the everyday uh, illnesses or uh, problems what we face with. So I would like to teach people, especially people with the kids, uh, small kids, 
Uh, you can do it very easily, very effective. Some of it, it's, it's done 12 hours and you're mm -hmm. done with this, you know, cold and flu and all that. Sure. Sometimes it can be 24 hours, but it's so effective. And, and the, main, the most important is it's super natural. It's 100% yes. natural product. You can't do harm no, with no. these products, uh, no. you know. Um, so yeah. that would be the main idea in the future. And once I finish uh, next year, we will extend the examination and the treatment sure. process. Sure. And with this, it's not people realizing it's not just their, their body that these things are happening to. This is not natural with all the food, with all the toxins, all the chemicals that are going inside our body. It's multiplying and it's getting bigger and it's making these symptoms a lot worse. And we have to sort of, you know, with the work that you do, the work that I do, bring people back down to the basics to start with again. You know, yeah. like if I'm teaching a person to meditation, I used to say, oh, let's start with five minutes. I've had to bring that down to three minutes. Now I say, let's start with three breaths. Let's start with three breaths, get the basics right, and then work up from there. Yeah. And I'm sure, you know, this must be the same for yourself as well, as starting people um, at a certain level, and then when they are comfortable, just as you said, then they'll start to, to progress. Yes, that's a very good point, you say, actually. Uh, we have to start at the beginning, but I don't <clears throat> expect people to... Uh, jump and from tomorrow oh my god i need to do this you know exactly no we do increment steps but yeah from the from the bottom mm -hmm. and we build up we take away food or bring up back a food yes. you know it's always yes. keeping changing yeah. but you don't have to think about oh my god i need to give up my life i need to eat salad for my rest of my life yes. it is not about that but as soon as you start eating this cleaner way and less processed cooked food, mm -hmm. your body will love you back yes. and you will see. Yeah. First you will get bad because the body's reaction it's mm. always cleansing. something yeah, yeah. cleansing. You Detoxing. will feel yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You will feel worse yeah. before yeah. you get better yes. from the inside and out. And it's yes. very important. Um, this whole spiritual journey for me is also new. Again, uh, with the pregnancy of my daughter, like uh, my neighbor helped me because I was crying a lot because right. I was t f completely terrified of during mm. the COVID. Yes. What's going to happen to us? What's happening with the world? And she supported me uh, so much uh, with this spiritual journey, what she's also learning. She's now also teaching people. Right. And what I've learned is very important to connect these. If you asked me five years ago, I was a spiritual guy, what's that? Come on, leave me alone. Like, yeah, uh, it's yeah, just yeah. some, you know, imaginary whatever. But then I, I experienced the signs of it and I yes. was truly amazed. Yes. Um, and uh, I love the work people do uh, yes. regarding this field as well, because it's very important uh, for our well-being to balance our life. Totally, totally. And, and it's like anything, you mentioned some, some words that you just said, you, know, you, you mentioned spirituality, and people think, oh no, it's all woo-woo, you know, yeah. it's all, all this and all that. If I mention I work with shamanic energy, they think, oh no, no, they, they keep away. But all it really is, is just coming back to our own being, isn't it? Yes. Coming back to ourselves with, yeah. with what we're living, with what we're doing, uh, coming back to one. And for some of us, I mean, I've been through some major healings, major cleanings and clearings and things, and we need to go through this. It's not, um, it's not that bad, really, is it? You know, yeah. when we start to get into it, we start to feel better. We have the energy. We're spending yeah. more time, fun time with our families and, and our friends. And this is some of the things that we that we get into, isn't it? It's yeah, exactly, exactly. That's uh, completely uh, right. And. Um as you said, like we need to go through these steps and we need to walk that road uh, to be able to experience. I can yeah. just only encourage people. Um, the other thing is with the spirituality is now popped in my mind freshly, the frequencies. Mm -hmm. uh, that's also I'm going to incorporate uh, very soon, actually, mm -hmm. the frequency scanning, uh, because that can give you a good idea of where the body is as yes. well. So it's another backup, um, you know, test uh, yes. we can do yeah. because everything is frequency around yes. us. Yeah. Uh, there is negative and positive. And yeah. then you can then slowly identify which one are the positive. You also you with more, uh, grad, you know, gradually to go towards uh, the positive and how to actually overcome anything negative. Mm -hmm. I used to be a crazy, you know, screaming in the car or the drivers, you know, Oh, God, you can't be this slow. And now I'm just 
have this person, please. <laughs> or this person yeah. must have a purpose of yeah. going so slowly in front of me so I get somewhere late and something yeah. good will happen. And, you know, like you need to understand yes. uh, these steps. Uh, why is it happening? And yeah. then you just, yeah. Yeah. then you become calmer and more understanding or, yeah. and compassion. You have yes. to have the biggest yes. thing. You yes. have to feel compassion yeah. for the people. Yeah. Very much so. The, the compassion, the, 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 the being calm and, of course, the gratitude uh, yes. is a big one as well which, which yes. we're going to get into there. Um, I mean, you know, this, this talk is we're, we're getting closer to the half hour mark and we've got yeah. so much to share, um, especially with, with what you're doing. And we're going to be coming back to this and I'll explain that in a moment there. But if there's one thing you'd like people to take away from our chat today, uh, what would you like them to, to take away with? What would you like them to, to think besides contacting you, of course? Yeah. What, would you, what do you think? No matter what is your problem, uh, give a chance. Mm-hmm. There is always a way you can heal yourself. We assisting with your healing. Mm-hmm. You are the one who can heal yourself inside and out. It's very important that you give a chance. Doesn't matter how much you, you think is a woo-woo or whatever, mm-hmm. or you don't. Just give a chance. Try it. Yes. It will take some time, but you, I guarantee you, you will see the results. Yes. It's, it's all it. And... Think about it. You look around in your home right now and think about it. Look at the products, what you use, yes. what ingredients. If you can't pronounce it, so it's not no. so good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so look and then just, you know, shove them out yeah. and we will show you a very simple way using, you know, a mm-hmm. few essential oils mm-hmm. and vinegar or lemon or whatever, like cleaning products, bicarb soda, yes. how to clean your fruits and veggies yes. with these, these products. So it's, you know, it's even if you, you unable to afford organic. But at least um, you know how to clean out the pesticides yes. from the food, and then um, and that that's all. That's you a, just a, a, just a, listen, yes. try it out, yeah. and everybody has their power inside to mm-hmm. heal themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, 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 for sure, very, very much so. There, and uh, what I'd like to to uh, as we're getting you know to a close here um, is that Christina is very. Uh, uh, kindly offered to give away a, um, uh, a cons- treatment. consultation, consultation or, or, or treatment. treatment as well. <laughs> so yes. if you're watching this here, please like, share, comment, and then I'll pass this on to Christina, wherever you are in the world, because we've got people tuning in in Australia and New Zealand, uh, a lot in America and Canada and the UK and through Europe and that as well. So comment and then I'll pass it on to Christina. Her details are going to be down below, so those will be there. And the other fantastic news is that we're looking to bring Christina in once a month yes, I'm to share happy. a different subject, a different topic every month. They want to keep this going. And yeah there'll be something to to give away and something to share with you as well uh, at each time. And maybe we'll both be sharing or or doing something like that anyway. So that's something that we're going to be doing. So coming up, uh, I suppose the next one we can do early in the next month and then we'll keep that going from there. So yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Very happy for that actually. Uh, This is very new to me, this postcard, but this is how we can reach uh, out for people. Yes. um, and teach them, um, you know, the daily life, how miserable it is you can you can come out from mm-hmm. there. I've been down deep, deep, deep below mentally and emotionally. Yeah. And there is a way to come out, and for we sure. are here to help. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, thank you for coming on. Um, thank you everyone for for watching to the Becoming Podcast. Big thank you to Shea at webdesignshare.com. If you're needing any websites done, she is a fantastic person. Um, you can have a look at mine www jamievita.com and with Christina putting all her details down below please like share um, comment uh, all the normal stuff that we need to do and uh, we look forward to catching up with you guys soon thanks Thanks for having me thank you very much thanks guys see you soon bye for now